Okay, like before, we're starting from a stock ROM with uh, the Terror Silent Kernel. That's you got to have that to get started. So we boot in the recovery, volume up, and power, and let go of power. And I've already went ahead and copied all the files to the player ahead of time. Okay. We come down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, scroll down to the kernel pre-flash. If you're coming from a CM9 build of the same, from the same developer, you don't need to flash this, you only need this if you're coming from stock. So we choose it and install it. Okay, now we choose zip from SD card again, and this time we're going to flash the ROM zip, which is his latest build, the uh, 421 build, and we choose yes, and now here's where things are different from what most people are used to seeing. Alright, so there's your reboot after as it converts to the MTD partitions. And we wait, wait, wait. And it reboots again. Now, do not freak out. This is normal. This is expected to happen. Just keep waiting. This is the third reboot here should reboot again and return the recovery. Voila. And now you see you've got the new recovery. You see you got that background. And now we just come down here and we just wait for it to finish installing. Oh yeah, uh, make sure you don't have a SD card inserted at all. I don't have one in mine because m the card reader on mine is dying. And just moving along, you can just barely see that blue line there. All right, and we got a reboot. Okay, and now we're gonna go to install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card, and we're going to go ahead and flash the uh, Jelly Bean G apps. This moves a lot faster. You got that blue bar there. That blue bar is the progress bar for those of you that don't know. Okay, now that's done. So we got to go back and reboot system now.
And voila. And naturally the first boot always takes a minute. But you guys should know that by now. And look. Buttons are all lit up. That was fixed a while back. Personally, I would be okay if those buttons did not light up myself. But I just don't feel like going through the hassle of what you got to do to make them go away. Okay, I just felt a vibration and the lights relit up, so that means it should just about be ready to boot into. There we go. Right, English, start. Let's see if it'll let me skip this. Nope. Do 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 And I think you guys got it from there. Just remember the other tips I've given in my other videos. You can refer to them for what to do from this point forward in terms of remembering to go into the menu settings and uh, setting the to use internal GPS under location settings that or else your GPS won't work yeah, I'm going to skip that for now and skip that for now and uh, just uncheck these for right now uh, Go ahead and set my time zone while I'm in here. And we go through and we're set up. Alright, so now we hit OK. Menu, set system settings, come down to location access, GPS source check, use internal GPS. You see how it wasn't checked there? Now when we go into it, it's now got that dot lit up. Okay, and we go back. We go to storage, then we hit menu, then USB computer connection, and choose mass storage. Come on. There we go. And that's how you get it to give you the USB connection choice when you plug it up to the computer. That's how you get to where you can transfer files. And we got this new advanced USB use dock USB audio hmm curious wonder if that works or what how it would work that's a new that alrighty um, I think you guys got it from there you know what to do from here all right, bye.